Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me uh, again. Another video today. This one was kind of spur of the moment. And uh, we've got Hascon, the live Star Wars panel for Hascon, which is Hasbro's, um, you know, their little reveal convention that they're doing. Um, so basically they're going through through all their brands and stuff over, the, over this weekend. Um, and the Star Wars side of it airs here at 3 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so I will we'll be waiting for the morning because I can't stay up till 3 a.m. anymore. Um, and I can't get up at 3 a.m. so I'm not going to. And it will be a Saturday morning so I'll just wait until I eventually wake up at 6.30 or 7 o'clock and I'll see everything online. So there's a, there's an Instagrammer, um, goes by the name Star Wars Poodoo. Uh, somehow managed to get a look at Wave 28 of Star Wars The Black Series. So we've just had Wave 27. It is the second wave of the new sort of collector series with the new with the new Black Series boxes. Um, so as I go, I will be putting just images up here. Hopefully that works. Um, so we've gotten all eight figures have been revealed as well as a couple of extras that are going to be coming out um, probably closer to the holiday season. Uh, we've seen some rumors from yakface.com uh, about holiday troopers uh, or holiday figures or something or something or other. I think it was holiday troopers. So we've seen two images so far of a holiday themed mountain trooper. So the mountain trooper from Solo, a Star Wars story, is minor tweaks to it. He uh, no longer has the soft goods over the shoulders. It is plastic molded and no longer has the soft goods around the waist and now that I think about it I don't think he did anyway so they've swapped out that sort of fabric that sits around the shoulders uh, for plastic and he is painted in deco to look like Santa Claus as you can see um, <laughs> my first thought was this is stupid I want it um, <laughs> I completely understand I think it is the dumbest thing I've ever seen but it's so stupid that I want it it's, it's just one of those things. Um, I'm still on the hunt for one of those Jar Jar lollipops. Remember where you, you pulled the pulled the head open and his mouth open and a little lollipop stuck out, it looked like his tongue, it looked like you were making out with Jar Jar. So I'd still like to get one of them. I don't want to make out with Jar Jar, but I'd like to get one of those lollipops just having the collection. It's just weird and silly. It's like the 3PO tape dispenser from the 80s or late 70s, perhaps. I can't remember where it looked like he was holding the tape holding the sticky tape in between his legs and that was the dispenser. It's just one of those weird wacky Star Wars collectibles you've just got to have. Um, and that goes for these two holiday troopers. And the second one, I believe there will be a third one revealed, but the second one is an Imperial Stormtrooper. It's not the new mold, it's the original mold uh, from the Black Series figures. But he is more so painted in green. Um, he comes with a little white snowy looking Porg. Um, and it looks like his deco on his chest is made to look like an ugly sweater. Um, a bit strange, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, you know, these are just, if I was to get them, if there was a way to get them, I'm not sure how they're going to be available down here in Australia, if at all. Um, we'll know in about 12 hours. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of thing that, you know, I'll pull them out at Christmas time with all the Christmas stuff that stays in the shed and then I'll slowly store them away and forget about them for the rest of the other 50 weeks of the year. So um, they're just silly enough to just bring out at Christmas. Like it's just corny. It's silly. It's dumb. It's yeah, I feel like it'd be money better spent on other things uh, Hasbro wise, but it is what it is. Have a little bit of fun and I'm just going to. I'm going to look at, have a look at them and see if they're available. If not, no big loss. So going back to the regular wave of figures, um, most of them are rumored, have been rumored for a while and, uh, you know, basically come true. So we are getting a release, uh, a regular release of the uh, Hoth Rebel Soldier, which is an absolutely brilliant figure. Um, that one did just get a release on the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary card in Wave, wave 2. Yeah, I think it was wave two of the 40th anniversary stuff. So he's getting a release in the regular line. I think we knew that one was coming. Also the three Endor figures that are just have just been released on Hasbro Pulse. 
um, which is the convention exclusive Endor set that comes with Luke, Leia and Han from their Endor in their Endor gear, Endor ponchos. The sort of Han's got his camouflage trench coat. Uh, they'll be coming out individually and they look amazing on the card. Those figures look fantastic. Um, next we are getting a new Phase 1 Clone Trooper joining the line. It'll be the second figure from Attack of the Clones after the more recent uh, Walgreens exclusive uh, Clone Trooper Lieutenant. So it looks like the new Phase 1 Clone Trooper is going to be using the new Clone uh, new clone Trooper body mold that just came out with the Kamino Trooper and will be coming out with the 332nd. Uh, it'll have a new head sculpt which appears to be one that will eventually have like a removable helmet feature much like the Kamino Troopers that have just come out as well. So, you know, it looks interesting. I'm, uh, I'm still I do like those figures, the Kamino Troopers. Um, I just don't think there was anything really wrong with the old mold of, uh, of clones. And, uh, you know, if they were to go forward with the Phase 1s and just keep them all the same, as they always have been, that would be fine. And uh, push forward with the Phase 2s. Doesn't really matter. Um, I didn't think there was much need for a change. Um, they obviously wanted to go in a different direction uh, in terms of aesthetic and articulation and feel of the figure. So... It is what it is. What can you do? Um, also, we're getting a single release of Cad Bane, which, you know, he just got a deluxe release with Toto 360. This single version isn't going to come with Toto 360, but without Toto, he's still Cad Bane. He's still an absolutely amazing figure. You know, I did my review and I couldn't speak highly enough. Um, I love that figure so much. And it was revealed about a week, week and a half ago, uh, that the other two figures from the wave would be the Armorer from the Mandalorian and the Incinerator Trooper. And uh, they are both fantastic look looking figures. I know uh, Kessel Run Transmissions on YouTube, they have already done a review of the Incinerator Trooper. Go and check it out. Um, that looks like a badass looking trooper. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna have um, probably a little bit more news, I'm sure. Um, I believe we'll be getting the Vintage Collection HasLab announcement. Uh, so we should find out whether we're going to be opening our wallets for that or not. Um, and there are rumors of a Vintage Collection Razor Crest, which <sighs> open my wallet for that one, baby. <laughs> um, but it is also rumored that the Razor Crest could be the HasLab thing. So we'll see um, in about 12 hours, about 15 for me, because I ain't getting up at 3 a.m. That's ridiculous. So uh, I might try and break it all down tomorrow if there's anything uh, newsworthy, uh, anything that tickles my fancy and I want to talk about. So, but yeah, just wanted to talk about these figures that have sort of slipped up today. Again, Instagram user Star Wars Poodoo. So yeah, stay tuned to my channel, hit the like button, grab that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and uh, stay tuned for more content because there's always more on the way. Thanks for tuning in guys. May the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.